Brr. 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 Now I'm just playing. <laughs> What's up y'all, it's me Liz, not Lizzie. Welcome back to my channel. And I know, I know, I know it's been a long time, but we are back, I am back, and I'm here to update you guys for a long overdue update on my locks and kind of like what's been going on with our new place and all of that other good stuff. So, if you are a returning subscriber, thank you for stopping by. If you are new here, thank you for stopping by. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on um, new content and what's to come this year. So, it's been long overdue. Like I said, the last time I was on here, I think I gave y'all the empty apartment tour. And then before that was when I first started my locks. So this is the one month slash two month update all into one because I missed a couple of months, obviously. So about that, I was originally supposed to get my retwist March 9th. That would have been my one month mark, but there was a conflict at work. So I had to end up, end up having to cancel that appointment and rescheduling it for, um, I don't even know what I had rescheduled it for at this point. Basically, I rescheduled it and then end up getting COVID. And so I had to get, reschedule it again. So first it was work, then it was COVID. So I've been out of a retwist for two months, like I said. So as of today, I am, I think, two months and five days. So as of today, my locks, my little babies are two months and five days. I just got my hair retwisted this past Tuesday. Um, so yesterday, today's Wednesday. So I just finally got it retwisted and I am in love still. So yeah, I did, however, even though I didn't do a video, I did make sure I got um, some footage and like pictures of my hair from when I first got it done to like now, showing like how I've been like maintaining it, little styles or whatever that I've been doing, how it's been transforming since I have gotten it uh, locked for the first time. So I'll make sure I'll put all of that in this video so I can, you know, kind of catch up about what's what's been going on. But so far, so good. Like the back of my hair is um, much tighter, I would say. The locks are much tighter, more sturdy, I guess you would say. I'm experiencing a lot of budding, so that's good. I know this time when I went, I had a lot of new growth, of course, because, you know, it had been so long since I've really been in it. And all I've been really been doing is uh, spraying it with water every so often and then using that Azure oil that she used when she first uh, locked me up. So I got some of that. So I'll be, you know, oiling my scalp and stuff with that every so often. So my hair has been like flourishing a lot. So that's the back. The top, she was able to give me like a little, a little style. She put it in these, these three little ponytails with the little, I don't know what you call these, you call these barrel rolls or something, whatever. But she, she did that. So, because the top of my hair is much softer. Um, the curl pattern is much looser. My hair is just, I don't know, it seems much finer at the top. So I think by her, by her doing it like this for me, I'll be able to keep the top a little bit more together. So you'll see in like the, the clips and videos that I post, I talk about that as well. So yeah, definitely got two different, you know, journeys going on, but nonetheless, I love all of it. So that is it. I'm gonna try to turn around and show y'all a little bit of like my parts and stuff. If y'all can see it, hopefully. Still a one, still one of my favorite parts about my locks is the part it is so neat, so pretty. So yeah, so I'm just gonna like kind of recap. So we moved in, excuse me, moved into our new place. We started unpacking, getting all the stuff together for the uh, furnished department tour. Then boom, I got COVID. COVID kind of put like a big damper and like halt on a lot of stuff. So of course we were we were recovering, um, couldn't go out, had to quarantine. So I rescheduled all my appointments, nail appointments, wax appointments, hair appointments, all of that. And then we also, you know, just wasn't really in the mood or up to like, you know, still um, 
keeping up with the decorating and all that. So, right, I got it four days later, or like towards the end of my, my sickness, so when I was like almost over it, almost through my 10 days or whatever, my husband finally tested positive because initially he didn't. He'd been test positive for like days after me. So it was weird. It was so weird. So he got it. So then we had to make sure he was good. And so like now we are finally feeling back. Swing of things. Finally getting back to what we started when we first got here. So still getting rid of a lot of boxes. We took everything out of all the boxes. There's still boxes sitting in the living room. I'm not going to lie. But we got everything unpacked. And now we're just really just still trying to put up pictures and stuff like that little things like that and there's some um, items that we still need to order so we're still working on that but stay tuned don't fret the fully furnished apartment tour is still scheduled and is still planning to be recorded and put up for you guys so just stay tuned to that but I just wanted to get on here really quick and just kind of recap and give y'all an update about what's going on so that's housewise so back to my lock. So basically how I've been maintaining this whole time with me being at home and having to be in quarantine has been really easy, I would say, compared to other people or people who've gotten their locks, their locks before uh, the pandemic, basically, where they had to, where you may have been more apt to have to go outside every day. So I've just been in the house. So because of that, it's been kind of easy to maintain it. I've just been keeping my hair wrapped up with a scarf and a bonnet if I'm in the house. But even while in the house, I would try to always make sure I take the bonnet off and uh, spray my hair with some water. And like I said, the Azure oil, I would oil it every so often, massage it and just let my hair breathe. And if I would, did have to go out or whenever I did go out, I would wear a uh, one of my hair wraps. And you guys probably seen, you've seen these before. You should have seen these before on some of my previous vlogs. But I will make sure I put the link to where I got my hair wraps from. Make sure you check the description box below for that. So, um, yeah, that's just pretty much it. That's all I've really been doing. It's been a pretty, it's been an easy two months. I would say the hardest part was not washing my hair. And I know a lot of people say, or it's, it's said that, yeah, you can, you know, you can wash your locks or whatever, your starter locks as long as you're gentle and I know there's videos and techniques and things that you could do to go ahead and, and wash your locks while they're in the starter stage. But I was just honestly, y'all, I was just like way too scared to. I'm still like very timid with them. I'm very gentle. I don't try to um, mess with them too much because they're just so fragile, especially the ones in the front. So I didn't touch them. I just, like I said, sprayed it with water, try to keep it hydrated that way and oil. In my edges, I kept them free as well. I probably used gel or like, you know, tried to slick my edges maybe two or three times this this whole time. So, and that's also not only because of, I didn't want no buildup, it's because of, right, I knew I wasn't going to be washing my hair or I wasn't, it was going to be a while before I got it washed. So I tried to keep my hair as free and as light as possible while waiting for my first retwist. So I made it through. Yeah. So I'm very happy, I'm very proud. Yeah, it's just crazy to see the change in them already. I didn't really think, I didn't know what to expect for my first retwist, so. It was really, really cool to see like just how my hair is changing, especially the back. Just how quick it's changing and like how mature it is getting and like the characteristic of it in itself is just changing right before my eyes and I'm just like, oh my gosh. I can't believe this is actually happening. But I'm excited, I'm excited. I feel like I had a lot of new growth, but like, yeah, the shrinkage is real and I'm already knowing that the shrinkage is going to continue to be. Your hair has to, I think, draw up first before it will lengthen or strengthen or lengthen back out. So I know, I know that's a part of the process as well. So I'm just really taking it day by day, trying to trust the process and really enjoy this starter lock phase. So I'm gonna have to go to the beauty supplies soon. I wanna get some um, accessories or whatever to put in my hair to, so I can, yeah, kinda have fun with it, be creative and really enjoy this stage because I know it's gonna continue to change and next thing you know, I'm gonna have a whole different, you know, thing going on. But I'm really, really excited. I think next time I get it retwisted, I'm probably gonna do 
another type of style, probably more protective style where my ends aren't, aren't out because we have a trip plan and I'm sure my hair is gonna be wet, so I wanna try to preserve it as much as possible if I even get it retwisted. But yeah, we'll see about that. I'm just so happy I finally was able to get in that chair. Um, I miss, I gotta go back. So I was saying the only, the, it wasn't that hard, you know, because I was inside or whatever. So the hardest part was really, yeah, just not washing it because I was so afraid to. Like, it really was no other reason why I didn't. It's just, yeah, I was I was afraid it was gonna come undone. And I know, again, that's also a part of the process, but I just prefer to wait, at least for the first one, for sure. So that was the hardest part, is just like not washing my hair. Cause I'm used to, you know, doing that once a week or every week, whatever. So that was like, you know, it was a little challenging, but even that wasn't too, too bad. Yeah, I've just been trying to keep a positive mindset throughout the whole thing, which hasn't been hard at all. I mean, honestly, it's not, it's like if I, I've been natural so long, I feel like things like frizz and stuff like that, it really doesn't phase me that much because I know natural hair is naturally frizzy, this, that, and the third. So like frizz really didn't get to me at all either. I, honestly, I like it being like, fluffy like that I can't wait till I'm in that phase where these get like way more fluffy and just like you know got that frizz thing going on so I look forward to that um as far as um diet wise or keto wise that also has been kind of non-existent to be honest since we moved here and then getting cold kind of soon after that's just kind of like really didn't have an appetite really could only eat certain things while we were on cold having COVID anyway so now that we're off we're kind of like regrouping and seeing like what is, what is it that we're going to do now so we're just trying to focus on still being as low carb as possible um, as low sugar as possible I'm still doing my intermittent fasting so 16 sticking to my 16 8 schedule but I definitely want to start back cooking soon and recording videos for y'all as well so if there's any recipes or any meals or anything that you guys want to see you can always drop them in the comments below and um, I'll be sure to check them out I'm trying to think what else what else I told y'all we were going on a trip so I'm definitely going to vlog that that's going to be epic we have a lot of big plans for that that's going to come next month so make sure y'all stay tuned make sure you have your post notification bell on so you don't miss when that travel vlog drops because it's been long overdue the last time we traveled was in September I think we went to Virginia Beach I think that was in September so it's been a little while we're used to traveling more so we're definitely going to get that started starting next month but yeah we have a couple of other things or big events nice events planned for the year in general so um, make sure again like I said y'all have your post notification bell on so you don't miss out but uh first thing first we got to get this fully furnished apartment tour video done so we're working hard to try to get everything situated and everything put up as much as possible so we can go ahead and record the video but we've been loving the apartment thus far neighbors seem cool everyone's everyone seems nice it's a really really nice quiet neighborhood we've been able to get out and take walks and things like that around the uh complex especially over the last couple of days this has been really really nice so Except for now, but like, yeah, last couple of days have been nice. So we've been able to get out, kind of be by the pool and check out some of the other, you know, amenities and things like that. So we're really, really excited to be here still. But yeah, we've just been, you know, focusing on recovering. COVID sucks. If anyone has had it, I'm so sorry. I hope you're feeling better. I hope you're getting over it. I hope, you know, you're not suffering like any severe or chronic symptoms. I feel like thankfully for us, our symptoms are COVID experience wasn't nearly as bad as some of the people that we hear about. You know, like either of us ended up, you know, in a hospital or, you know, something serious like that. So I'm very, very thankful that we kind of got it and got over it. I'm definitely hoping we don't get it again. So we're definitely gonna do our part as far as like getting vaccinated and things like that. But yeah, so just make sure you guys are all staying safe. This thing is still real. This thing is still out here. Make sure y'all wear your mask, all the other good stuff as y'all already know. Um, I think that's it. So yeah, either I'll put the videos of my hair at the beginning or somewhere at the end of this video um, so y'all can see my progression of my locks, but these are it. These are my little 
my little babies i'm very very happy very proud proud that i made it this far Ooh, i know that this is the phase where a lot of people you know get weary because of you know how your hair looks versus how you're used to it looking you know it seems much more untamed or this that and the third but it's all it's a process and you have to trust it so i am going to do just that so i hope you guys are going to stick with me and be along for the ride see how they flourish and turn out okay so um that was a quick update about what's been going on sorry i missed you guys i know it's been a while it's been a long time i'm hoping to like i said get back into it hoping to get more videos out starting with the fully furnished apartment tour if not maybe a cooking vlog or whatever before that but just want to get back to the swing covid definitely put a halt on we had i thought we had like a lot of steam momentum going and like it was like boom nope pause so we're finally pressing the play button back. So we're gonna get more videos out to you guys. I hope everyone is doing well. And um, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your post notification bell so you don't miss out on all the things that I just mentioned that's gonna come up and even more. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye. trouble size look real loose but I still love them I love everything about them you say all the pack uh -oh. pack still looks good you can still see my parts still I love that they still look good put a big damper on things but i just wanted to try to get oh child as much um footage for y'all as possible before i do my next update i'm hoping i reschedule my appointment for april 13th so i'm hoping i can be good by then but y'all yeah the new growth is real i've just been using the azurite oil and spraying it every so often with some water the back of my hair of my locks the back of the lock the locks in the back seem to be much more intact um but that wasn't a surprise to me as you can see the ones up top the ones in the front are definitely a lot looser a lot frizzier um some are even unraveling a little bit but that is to be expected of course i'm trying to get the back so y'all can see but like the back, the back is decent. I think, uh, I think these are gonna um, be just fine. I think my whole head is just, it'll be just fine until the 13th. Um, so I'm fingers crossed, fingers crossed that I can actually make it to that appointment. 
um, yeah, fingers crossed I can make it to that appointment so I can finally sit down and give y'all the update that is so due. Um, but y'all, yeah, this is pretty much how I've been rocking my hair, to be honest. With COVID, of course, I haven't been going out, so it hasn't been that big of an issue. But even before COVID, I was, um, yeah, rocking it like this. I would do wraps. I do wraps every so often, not too much, but i just been really letting it breathe, do what it, do what it wants. I really think these curly ends is going to stay a while, which I'm not opposed to. I think it's kind of cute. But, yeah, I'm just trying to keep up with this journey as much as possible. So, hopefully I'll see y'all soon.